hello guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to handle exceptions in Jasper server so for this so we'll go with some practical example so we are in Jasper server so we have published this report from studio to server if you can if you watch my previous videos you'll understand how I have published this so we'll just see whether this report is working fine okay yes so the report is working perfectly good and I'll create an exception of myself and I'll just resolve that exception okay so you can do the same thing so when an exception rises you don't need to worry so just go to edit and and the controls and resources so here you can see uh, I'm going to remove the logo.png and we'll try to save the report okay so just remove this submit now what I'll do is I'll just click on the report and just click on ok so you can see there is an error so when you come across this kind of situations you feel like ok what I'm going wrong I have done everything right but so we have removed the image intentionally but sometimes this happens uh, by mistake and or uh, exception rises so you, it's very simple you can just simply go to your installed directory of jasper soft server so just click on jasper soft so go to your uh, uh, install folder you can see apache tomcat go to web apps jasper server web inf and logs that's it so just open your jasper server and just go with your latest time so you just go with your system time okay computer time so in my computer the time is around 9:39 exactly so this exception was caused 9:38:25 uh, for this much of seconds and milliseconds so if you see here you can see there is thing called caused by so here you can see what caused the if report error so byte not found a rep a report logo.png so this means uh, there is no image connected to our report so re-adding the image will actually solve the problem so just go to your server go back okay and go to reports edit image uh, controls and resources add resource select file browse images logo.png double click it next just give it a name and the id must be the same as in your studio just click next and submit so we'll refresh the page and try to run the report again So that's it guys so this is how you can actually handle exceptions in jasper server so thank you guys thank you for watching